welcome to LRC's Kitchen and today I'm going to replicate uh, for you something which is a very popular old uh, kind of sambar. It's called the Senagalu sambar. It uh, strangely done without using boiled dal into it and uh, I am told it's a very popular dish in places like Kumbakonam in Tanjavur in Tamil Nadu. But this is something uh, which I have learnt in more recent times and uh, out here to experiment it out with you. <clears throat> the requirements for this would be uh, equal proportions of uh, tubar dal and udad dal. I also need uh, methi seeds, some pepper, salt, red chilli, curry leaves, chana, boiled chana which is the main uh, ingredient that goes into the sambar, tamarind water and a little bit of sambar powder which you get in the market. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to take uh, tamarind uh, water. I've uh, squeezed the tamarind to its liquid content. I've taken a small lime quantity of tamarind, soaked it in water and then completely removed all the pieces, the seed and kept it. Now into this goes. a few curry leaves. I am going to add one spoon of sambar powder or maybe two spoons of sambar powder because at my place we eat food a little spicy. Some turmeric powder. Now put on the gas. I must also bring to your notice the fact that this is being done in what is again a very traditional heavy stone vessel, again very popular in parts of Tamil Nadu. It's called the Kalchetti. I'm getting this to a boil and while I do so, I'm going to do a tadka in which about a tablespoon of oil I'm using a few fenugreek seeds as in this condition into this liquid for it to come to a boil I'm adding about a teaspoon of fenugreek seeds into the tadka I'm going to use about 1 tablespoon of udad dal and an equal quantity of tuvardha, again which is about one tablespoon. A fair quantity of hing, some red chilies. And finally, some curry patta. Let this cool for a while. I'm adding a little more water to this uh, mixture in the with the tamarind water. This tadka which uh, had pepper, some methi, udat and uh, tuvar dal in equal quantities, hing, red chilies, pepper in oil and substantial amount of curry leaves. What I am going to do is I am going to first powder this mixture. I am now going to add some water to it and make a paste of it.
Now the paste goes into this boiling mixture of the sambar. Ensure that the entire mixture goes into this. Add water. Now when the mixture is coming to a boil, take boiled chana. I have boiled it without using salt. Put the chana into this and let the entire mixture now come to a good boil. Mix it well so that um, if there are any lumps of the masala, you ensure that they dissolve in the water and they don't remain as lumps. Now as the Samar is coming to a boil, add salt to taste. You can see the sambar coming to a nice boil now. Now get ready for the tadka. Heat oil, some chana dal. Rai. Now when you hear the splutter of the add jeera, take some curry leaves, put off the stove, add the curry leaves. By this time, you would have realized that the sambar has come to a complete nice boil. Add this tadka to the sambar. What's different about this sambar from the rest? Firstly, if you notice, there is no boiled tuvar dal in the sambar, which you normally do. The second thing is there's a reasonable quantity of udad dal which I would like uh, outside of what I have prescribed in the recipe to cut it down a little. I have used udad, tuvar, uh, pepper, hing, a little bit of methi, methi, uh, methi for the grind. I boiled kabuli chana, I put it a boil of tamarind water, put all this together and got it to a boil and added a regular tadka. This is the chana sambar. Rice, it goes well with rice. I'm sure you can have it with roti too. And some papad and I, if you notice, and if you're very pleased that there's not a speck of oil in this, the secret obviously is that it is not fried, it is roasted. So there's papad, there's sambar, there's rice, typical tamram kitchen and uh, here is a new kind of sambar for variety. Thank you Datu for helping out with all the arrangements. Thank you Ritika for the back end support and thank you Abhinav for the editing. Goodbye.